Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make the hedgehog Christmas tree ornament. So I've already cut out my pattern pieces. I've got them all assembled here. Just um, a note of caution, when you go to cut out your bodies, you have enough felt, but it's like, I, I made the body a little smaller, but um, you have to be very, very careful when you do it, otherwise you won't have enough felt. So just make sure that you really uh, line it up well when you go to um, cut. And I didn't fold and do it, I actually cut each one out individually because that way your spines and stuff will look much better and won't slip. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put the little hedgehog body on so you can see how you've got a little bit of space. I'm going to move it up just a hair, but keeping in mind, you're going to have the ears there, so you're going to want to make sure you have enough room when you put the ears on. Okay, so yeah, that's going to look good like that. All right, so you can either place everything. I like to just put it on here to see how it's going to look before I make final choices on placement. Make sure there's enough space. Okay, so what you can do, and then of course you got your eyes, is you can stitch everything onto just the belly first, then put the belly onto the front side of the body and stitch that on, and then do the ears. Or you could just go ahead and stitch it directly through both pieces. So totally up to you on how you want to do that. I'm going to just do it through both pieces, I think. Now, if you want to, you can use straight pins to keep everything in place. I'm not a huge fan of them, so I don't use them, but that's just my personal preference. So go ahead and separate your light colored thread to three strands oh whoa stick into my hand. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I get all the pieces through? Yeah, I did. All right. Go ahead and knot that off. And then I'm going to stick, start with a muzzle, nose, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to be using the running stitch a lot and the blanket stitch primarily. Okay, so now I've got him placed where we've got a little bit of room up here for the ears and we've got room for the eyes. And I'm going to just do, I'm not going to start at the tip of the nose because we're actually going to use some of the dark brown to give him the little snout. But I want to be really close to the edge there and I'm just going to do small running stitch. Now I will say if you do try to if you do try to do it the way I'm doing it where it's going through all three pieces it's a little bit difficult so I would not recommend this for the children. I would recommend you just doing the these two layers. You really have to push the needle through this way.
can kind of move over a little more for you. You don't want the stitches too close together, but you don't want them like super far apart. Okay, so one more stitch on this side, we'll have it completely tacked down, except for the very tip, which will be done in the dark brown thread. All right. I'm gonna tie that off on the back. I like to go underneath one of the stitches, the last stitch. And then go back to the loop there. Give you a good knot. Pull it tight. All right, and then we'll trim both tails. There we go. All right, so we've got his little nose on there. And that, you know, then it tacks the belly down too. So that's one of the benefit of doing it this way. Okay, next thing is going to be the little paws. Kind of play with those. All right, I like how that looks. I think. Add off your thread again. Hmm, looks like I inadvertently knotted it in. Okay. So I'm gonna start at the tip of the paw, and I'm actually gonna do little like, not claws. Well, I guess they do kind of have claws. To kind of separate into toes. So you're just going to do a line, basically like a running stitch. Let's see the, just a line to make it look like claws. Now I'm not sure if they have three or four, I'm going to do three. So if I'm not, uh, anatomically correct, I apologize, but three looks good, so <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Oops. <laughs> oh my. Okay, there we go. So we've got our three claws there, and then we're going to just running stitch around the rest of that. All right, so you're gonna just um, attach your other paw and your feet the exact same way. So I will gonna keep working on that and I'll be back in a few minutes to show you the rest. Back, so here he is all stitched on there. Now another bonus of stitching it on like that is then I don't really have to go through and do the running stitch around here. But if you uh, attached everything separately, 
you at this point would then do a running stitch all the way around to connect that onto the brown belt. So now we're going to do the ears. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to pinch the corner of your ear and you're going to actually put a little stitch in there. Let me tie off my thread first um, to give it that true ear look. Okay, so I'm going to put a little stitch through there and I actually go through, come back through again to really get that stitch secure. I'm going to turn the tail there. Okay, so you've got an option. Now, if you don't have this tacked down, what you can do is then put it underneath or as I generally do, I just put it right here on the top and stitch through the back. I kind of use the corners to kind of figure out, mm, I'll put the ear right there kind of thing. All right, so I've decided that one's going there. So I'm going to actually lift up underneath it a little bit and then go right through. So you can see I've got it attached that way. And I'm actually going to kind of pull a little tight because I want that ear to be very curved like. And then I'm going to come back up. And there we go. So your ear is tacked. Sorry, your ear is tacked on there. Okay, now you can tie off here or you can just stretch your thread over. I'm just going to stretch my thread over. Okay, so it's going to go right about there. So I'm going to come up right in the middle of that. Okay, go ahead and pinch your ear. And go that way. Okay. Go back through it again. Oh, hold on a second. I need to have it full tight enough. There we go. All right, now we're more attached. Okay, we're in place. So then we just go up underneath there. And we've got our two ears on. There we go. Okay. Now in the back, I'm going to go ahead and knot that off. And then trim. Okay. So we've got our ears, all our body parts on except for our eyes. So I'm thinking the eyes are going to go like that, and then the nose. So we're going to switch to the brown thread, the dark brown thread. And again, we only need three strands. There we go. Okay, knot it off. Now you have more than one option on the eyes. You can either do a couple of tiny little running stitches or you could do a French knot in the center. I think I'm gonna do the French knot in the center just to show you how that works. All right, so I've pulled the thread up through. You wanna wrap the thread around the needle twice. Stick the needle into the hole that you came through. Make sure the thread's tight. So one hand's gonna hold it tight. 
and then push the needle through. Making the French knot. So you can see how it looks with the French knot. Or you can just do tiny little running stitches around. If you did the dragon craft for the July envelope, then you've had some practice on that already. Um, I don't know how happy I am with that eye placement. I want to over that or something. Nope. Alright. So I'll do that French knot again. All right, so I've pulled it up. Now I'm gonna wrap it oops, around the needle twice. Okay, make sure you've got it pulled tight. And then go back into that hole that you've got it. Push through. And there we go. So now our hedgehog has eyes. Now we're going to go down to the tip of the nose. And we're going to go, we're going to do some straight across stitches. So right there. And we're just going to do several of those, having them get gradually shorter to give us that little nose. There we go. We've got his little nose. Okay, so he is just as cute as he can be. Alright, so now we're going to tie that off. Okay. Trim. Trim. Okay, so again, this might be the time to pin if you need to pin. So we're going to place these two together. Now if you are not um, a fan of the blanket stitch or your little one has a hard time doing the blanket stitch, you can totally do the running stitch here. Um, you don't even have to do the spines, you could just kind of do it like at the base of the spines around if you wanted to. Or you can blanket stitch, it's totally up to you. The blanket stitch can be a little hard with the spines, so I, maybe for the video I will do a running stitch because I'm going to guess most of you are going to do the running stitch. Alright, so we're going to start on the side here and go all the way around, leaving the bottom open to stuff, and then we'll stitch close. Okay. Alright, so if you just come at the base and just kind of follow that curve, it's going to, whoops, apparently I need a bigger knot. It's going to mirror this kind of curve that's the body, the underbelly, I guess, more accurate. Alright, so we'll try that again. Yeah, now we're good. Alright, so just 
running stitch. You can see I'm just doing the running stitch and it would just continue all the way around leaving the bottom open. So I'm going to keep working on that and I'll be back in a few minutes. Stitch all the way around except for the bottom which it's open. Okay so I gave everybody a handful of fluff. My size handful. Um, so you're just going to want to shove it in here. Now also you don't have to stuff it if you don't want to, if you like it better flat, it's totally a preference thing. I just like to stuff things, I guess. <laughs> now, if you have a leftover um, wool stuffing, then you can use that to modify your Star Baby like I did, uh, where I, I posted the picture on our Facebook business page and on Instagram of my gnome, Santa gnome star baby. So I did use some of this for the beard and I used some of it to stuff the body. So totally a personalization that you could do if you wanted to. I really liked how it turned out. Okay, so I've got it stuffed and we'll just stitch it closed now. Now, press it tight there, and we'll just finish off with our running stitches. Okay, there we go. All stitched up. And then I'll just tie it off. Oops. Alright, any and all tails. Okay, so he's done. Now, for the hanger, you can either use the dark brown felt or if you, uh, not felt, <laughs> uh, thread. And if you have some leftover from the Star Baby, the red, I know I had quite a bit left over, you can make a red hanger. Um, since I have the brown already on here. I'm just going to use the brown. So I just go right through that middle spine. It's totally up to you how long you want your hanger to be. This is kind of a big ornament. I don't want it to be too long of a hanger. Okay. Okay. 
So now there's a head in there. Okay, so if you also, you should have a little, little scraps of red felt left. And um, I just thought if you wanted to personalize your hedgehog, you could make it a little girl hedgehog. by cutting out a bow. Well, <laughs> let's see if I can see it, see why not. Yeah, if I make it a little skinny in the middle, it'll look more like a bow. Just gonna tweak it a little bit there. And also some embroidery thread would help make it more bow-like. Anyway, but you could do a little bow, oops, like right there on the ear, like that, or you could make it a, you know, it's like a bow tie kind of thing. Obviously my bow needs a little work, but you know, I didn't draw on it first, I just kind of freehand it. So anyway, you could you could totally do that. You could even make like a little headband with the embroidery floss and then have that be the little bow. Um, so there's other ways to personalize it. You could get a little candy cane and kind of have it curved and hanging over here. Anyway, so there's lots of different things that you can do to uh, spruce it up, make it more your own. So I am looking forward to seeing the pictures of what you have created. Please share them on our Facebook page or on Instagram, hashtag happy hedgehog post. Thank you. Bye.